So I decided to play Honkai Impact 3rd again after a long hiatus to try out the PC version of the game. I quit the game 9 months ago because my 4 year old smartphone can't handle it anymore. But now that the game is running fine on PC, I gave it another chance. However, upon trying the game I found out that it doesn't detect my Huawei Pad FPS Plus controller which works fine on my other PC games as well on PS3. I use other methods like the Joy2 key which is a button remapping software but it didn't work as well. I asked in Reddit if they are having problems using third party controllers for the game and everyone that answered said that their controllers work fine. I also checked the FAQs page on the Honkai Impact 3rd website and uh, it says it supports most of the mainstream controllers. So. It looks like the problem is isolated in my case, though it's baffling to me that a controller with a brand name known for creating joysticks for years is not recognized by the game. So while I'm researching on how to make this work, I came across this page, which gives instructions on how to play Honkai Impact 3rd on PC using a USB controller, and it specifically uses Xbox 360 controller emulator. The instructions are a bit vague and it took me a while before I was able to make it work. So in this video, I'll show you step by step on how to use Xbox 360 controller emulator to play Honkai Impact 3rd and other games using a USB controller like the Horipad FPS Plus. First step is to download the Xbox 360 CE executable from x360ce.com. Depending on the game you will play with it, you will choose between download for 32-bit games or download for 64-bit games. For Honkai Impact 3rd, you want to choose the 64-bit version. So let's go on the download folder. Extract the zip file. Let's cut and paste the exe file to the folder where the game executable is. Honkai Impact 3rd is under the C drive where your OS is. This is the default by the way. The program files, Honkai Impact 3rd, games, and then paste the executable here. Afterwards, we will need to open the controller emulator program to configure it. Now, don't just double click the executable file. You need to run it as administrator, otherwise, it will not work properly. Then we will see here x input one underscore three that DLL was not found. Just click the create for the file to be created. And then just click next for the search for automatically for settings on the internet. The program will automatically download controller configurations for Hunkai Impact 3rd, but you can do your own configurations if you want to. If you want to configure the controller, just press any button and then click record. You can see that the buttons are already correctly configured. Go to game settings and then under X input files, take 64 bit version 9.1 and version 1.4. Check note that this setting works from Honkai Impact 3rd, but different games might require different binaries, so other games you might need to take different options. Under D input, just take the 64 bit. Now, before you save the settings, you need to rename the x input 1 underscore 3.dll that was created earlier. You need to rename this to x input 1 underscore 4, and then Create a copy of it. And then we name this X input one underscore nine underscore zero. Dot DLL. If you save your settings on the controller emulator without renaming the these files, you'll get an error that the files don't exist. So let's apply so the synchronize settings. So you can see there's a 
x350ce.ini created here. Now let's try playing Hawkeye okay, Impact 3 with our Huawei Pad FPS Plus controller. Okay, I'm testing the controller now. As you can see, I can move the mouse cursor with my left analog stick. I can confirm with my circle button. Like you would tap normally with your left mouse click, right? Then... Oops. I can scroll up and down with my right analog stick when reading the news. Go back with the X button. You can also read the chat this way. Scrolling up and down with the right analog stick. When you select your valve, you can scroll left and right with the right analog stick too. Oops, the uh, the options button is for exiting the game. You want to go the share button. Let's go. Is the going back to the home screen. Now let's try playing some of the stages with the controller. この道は前にも歩いたような気のせいか。わかった。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了解。了
If you want me to create more tutorial videos like this, please leave a comment below, hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you on the next one.